Hello friends, welcome to the channel Physics by IITians. Today I am with a special guest. She is Amanpreet. She is pursuing her masters from Germany. So today she will tell us how to get admission in European University. So please watch the full video. You will get many more suggestions and answers all of your queries. So welcome Amanpreet. Welcome to the channel Physics by IITians. Kindly give some short introduction about yourself. Thank you for the introduction. I am Amanpreet Kalra and I am pursuing my masters in material science from TU Darmstadt now. And I did my bachelor's in metallurgical engineering and material science from IIT Bombay. And now I will maybe give you more suggestions on how to get admission into European universities, by, uh, mainly in Germany, I would say. Uh, so, yeah. Okay, so you did your bachelor from IIT Bombay and what was uh, your uh, specialization or field of study? So I studied in metallurgical engineering and material science. Yeah. And how did you know about uh, the university here? Like uh, what was the admission process? So I applied in, gen in total I applied for 10 universities for material science and I was kind of targeting for TU Darmstadt mainly because uh, material science is generally good here uh, in terms of research and professors and studies and yeah so I applied to other TU, TU universities or so technical universities as well there are seven universities in total uh, where you can apply and so there are different cri uh, admission criteria for each university so we have to look into the website and we just get to know more about okay what is their admission criteria so it's different for each university like what are like uh, are there some common criteria so each university they ask for your bachelor's mm -hmm. transcripts and motivation letter but letter of recommendation it depends uh, if university wants to get it or not but other than that i guess ielts it mm. also depends on university but mm. it i think it's better to get ielts to give ielts and yeah and the motivation letter that kind of like your sop statement of purpose yeah it's more towards why you want to do masters and what are your future plans after masters okay. because they would consider who is planning to do phd after mm. masters they would consider that candidate more than who is mm. just going to go abroad mm. for masters mm. so i think it's better to mention in motivation letter that okay uh, mm. my research goals are this and this so more about your projects scientific projects mm. and it's good to mention more of research projects and your research goals rather than your curriculum activities but a bachelor student like yeah if they can uh, they have done some project yeah. research project it is all right for them to write a research proposal kind of but suppose anyone who has not done any kind of research project mm -hmm. uh, so what will be your suggestion to write for that motivation later whether they should contact to a supervisor like a teacher or professor no i think admission process is the first process you can't uh, contact any professor because there are so many professors in one exactly. department mm. so I think it's better to tell or mention in the motivation letter that okay mm. this is my motivation to do research in this field I haven't done it but I am ready to explore or I'm open to any research goal you know so if you haven't done anything then you can just mention okay in this course I studied this or I learned this from this course mm. or I, did, I have this laboratory experience so mm. even yeah friends these comes. are really like uh, the things you are telling these are really important things that even if you haven't done any research still you can mention that these things like the courses I have opted yeah. or the practicals uh, that I know the instruments and also those things matters a lot like if you try to tell them that I am interested somehow it will justify that why you are interested otherwise it will not justify and it will not uh, seek their attention as well yeah and then you just have to convince them that mm. okay you are willing to learn more things and you can do like you mm. will do honestly everything if you are uh, given any project so and uh, do you have to submit any cv like uh, yes yeah. cv as well so mm. uh, i think in german it uh, when i was applying to universities it was like for two three universities they um, they were asking cv in tabular form 
so like in tables and everything mm. and then i think it's really common in germany when if you apply for jobs after masters or during masters they ask for uh, cv in table and with a picture so it's better it's good uh, if you submit your cv with your picture i didn't do that <laughs> but uh, it would be good i think uh, yeah and also what about the uh, cgpa uh, how it matters cgpa uh, they look into the credit points like the courses you have done and how much typically the number the how mm. much credit points you have completed in your bachelors because for me they specific i think in uh, admission criteria as well they specifically mentioned that okay the number we want so mine was i don't know 200 something so uh, yeah and cgpa i think in my opinion cgpa and motivation letter is like this if your motivation letter is really good mm. then i don't think that cgpa matters but at least eight i guess huh i have no idea about okay, it okay <laughs> okay how did you uh, like if i ask you that my cgpa uh, was not that good okay. but i think because of my motivation letter okay and maybe because of credit points mm. as well mm. but mainly i would say to focus more on motivation letter okay, okay. and if they ask for a letter of recommendation then sure like that will also make a difference sure because you are going to pursue master so this will be your future study and if you are motivated enough then they will select you yeah like it depends on your motivation like uh, suppose uh, someone uh, like uh, got 10 out of 10 but have no motivation mm. so definitely they won't choose yeah uh, make sense okay so uh, what about the fellowship uh, that you have to pay here any scholarship you uh, you were at uh, like awarded so- so one more thing that i want uh, to like add yeah instead of applying uh, like in spite of applying to universities you can also apply for different uh, programs okay. so i was not aware of that after coming here i got to know that okay there are different students in my lecture classes so from amir so there are different names of programs in which you can just complete your one year in some other country in europe like uh. in france or italy and then you can complete your second year in some other technical university so i think many of my friends they are from so they completed their first year in france or mm. maybe in italy and then they came here in germany mm. to uh, complete their second year so oh. it's and i think when i was applying to universities i could see that okay i have the option of uh, Uh, completing my masters in four different locations in four different universities so i think if you want to get really <laughs> good international exposure, exposure. that oh. would be really good option yeah ah, i also didn't know about that please note down those programs like it is also like related to physics also there are many programs are available do you know about that uh, astrophysics or i think you have to search about uh. it because i just searched in material science mm. uh, uh, mm. field so hmm. i am just aware of that but i think maybe like in hmm. other programs as well there would be otherwise dad is there so hmm. dad fellowship you can fellowship. apply uh, you can give gate and then through dad you can apply okay and uh, what about the tuition fees it is already exempted right you don't yeah, have to pay yeah tuition fees is zero yeah uh, so and also you you are getting any fellowship a scholarship from here no so what about the living expenses uh, you are managing so in general living mm. expenses like uh, if we uh, if we could get the student dorm from university it's really cheap okay but in general darmstadt uh, city is so it's mostly like the uh, the city where students uh, live it's mostly i don't know cheaper Not than so expensive yeah, yeah they can manage yeah so for university if you get if you manage to get room in university then it's really good okay. it's really cheap so from 300 to 400 uh, rent euros mm-hmm. per mm-hmm. month you can uh, manage to get mm-hmm. and if you are get uh, getting a room in private apartment even then it's like that but you have to maybe research more and there are many uh, students or many uh, what do you say that uh, council groups in universities that help you to get um, get rooms or okay. so it's specific and also some temporary jobs are available also part time like uh, yeah. students do yes yeah so i th- so in my universities like mm. they uh, update it from time to time that okay mm. these are the jobs in english uh. that uh, you can uh, get part time mm. jobs and even like in germany there are different kinds of apps that you can use to get uh, student <laughs> 
a jobs part time they are flexible jobs so you can uh, do at just any time like of your choice yeah uh, flexible so hmm. if you are free on saturday then you hmm. can uh, just uh, book a shift and then go on saturday to work i wow. think that's really <laughs> it's like uh, it's not only studying it is like uh, making you independent yeah so that's a um, like a missing in uh, india that whenever we are master students we always mainly like uh, focus on study and not on like thinking of other things yeah. managing other things most of the time because in hostels also like we get several facilities uh, yeah that is a kind of personal development that you also i i, get, I guess you have also noticed and yeah even yeah. in university dorms like it's mm. uh, they try to uh, like so in one way there are four rooms so they are four people from different nationalities mm. so they try to keep that adversity so i think that's really good um, experience yeah and also can you tell me if uh, like what are the advantages you think that if you do masters from europe and if you do masters from indian universities or iits will it be any difference or is is there any advantage definitely uh, uh, this is my opinion i don't mm-hmm. know yeah so in my opinion i would say that if i was in india mm-hmm. um my thinking would be very confined i would say because in germany it, it it's more like i have to manage everything by myself like from cooking to buying groceries to everything and also like i have to manage my expenses so thinking wise i guess i am really different person exactly. now <laughs> but if i were in india then i think everything is more comfortable and uh, i it's in my comfort zone so if you really want to get more exposure to uh, learn new things i would say because i i didn't i didn't know that okay these things exist <laughs> until i came to germany so i think in terms of exposure it's really good and, and about the career uh, opportunities definitely like in one drawback that i can say of mm-hmm. staying in germany after masters or if you are applying for job that you need to learn language okay yes okay. so but there are english uh, lang- uh, jobs as well like in uh, where the german language is not needed but i think in the end uh, if you are going for research then they would expect you to learn language because in then you have to interact with people in lab who are already german so <laughs> i think german uh, language is really uh, important to learn and then uh, i think in university uh, they offer language courses as well so okay okay i am taking language courses so i think uh, that is really helpful to learn but that that doesn't mean that you can't get uh, jobs with just uh, knowing english exactly. that is also possible exactly so okay and also is there any like uh, there's any difference you have seen like uh, earlier you were in iit bombay yeah. so in right now you are in germany so any kind of academic uh, like uh, uh, teaching difference kind of environment difference you are here you have experienced yeah i mean if i talk about professors then here mm-hmm. professors i would say are more concerned about okay. what we are doing or what we mm. want to do mm. so they are really flexible so if i want to give exam on i don't mm. know if i i'm not if i'm not prepared and i'm not free on this day then they can uh, reschedule they can sh- the oh. exam for Seriously? us yes for electives because they are oral exams and ah. uh, oral exams are very easy to reschedule mm. so in that sense they are really concerned about our uh, about us <laughs> I don't think that is possible in India at all and I am um, that is the main I would say <laughs> difference that I and the uh, like uh, the course uh, like it was so like the tough like course were so tough or the exp- exams or you feel that they are tougher in Germany compared to India a course think, are tougher than that uh no but then it depends on the field or the department that you are in because i think in material science it's mm. i studied metallurgy more of metallurgy in my bachelor's and not material science but in masters i got to know that okay my 
field of interest or my interest is material science not metallurgy, metallurgy. so maybe that's why i uh, was more interested in studying that field mm. but i felt that okay these uh, the exams are really easy here okay in terms of <laughs> the one that i gave in yeah. iit bombay <laughs> yeah but that's um, good actually yeah and most of the lectures i attended uh, during corona time so they were all online online so i think that was also one big advantage that i can uh, watch lectures any time and then that was yes okay okay that's really cool so it is don't worry about pursuing masters from foreign universities or in europe it is not so tough so if you are planning to get admission in europe then uh, what will be your suggestions to the students so first you have to decide your field of interest like whether it is mechanical or chemical and then you have to search for universities that are good in that field or like research wise and then yeah you just have to uh, maybe just look at the admission criteria and then you have to uh, like give some time to prepare your cv and motivation letter and then letter of recommendation if needed mm-hmm. it really makes a difference, difference. yeah and when you like how to choose that uh, universities that where to like apply then they, you did it uh, like yourself or you get some help from any university point of view uh, no i did it by myself and uh, i think it depends on you like uh, in which university do you want to apply mm. so you can apply in all universities it uh, it will be a positive point like you have uh, you can apply i think i applied to 10 universities and then i got rejection from i got acceptance from four universities in in the end like yeah so it, i think you first have to decide your research or field and then uh, you can apply to as many universities just to be on the safer side because uh, one more thing that i want to mention that while applying to universities the mostly german universities i don't know but mm. um, they mentioned that they want Uh, attested copies of everything that i am sending to them by post okay. so i sent the uh, documents by post to them because they mentioned it like that so i had to get attested uh, attest the documents uh, from notary and for two from two universities the reason for rejection was that uh, i didn't do it right so the oh. uh, documents that i attested it was not from the right uh, you know right person or so uh, they from from their perspective it perspective. was not um, attested okay so okay. the re- rejection the reason for rejection was mm-hmm. that so i think you need to <laughs> make sure of that as well or maybe just uh, email them and ask first before sending them uh, documents that okay uh, what is uh, what should i do or from uh, what organization or uh, what uh, what should be the official process yes. so that it should not be rejected like uh, just a uh, like this kind of yeah the uh, yeah, application rejection. should not be yeah. rejected just by yeah. this reason by this reason <laughs> yeah i i i agree okay okay thank you so much uh, amanpreet uh, like you uh, told lot of important things lot of suggestions and the most importantly the things you have mentioned here the students want to know and those uh, trip Uh, tips and like uh, this thing uh, like suggestions will be important for future studies so i hope this video is helpful to you thank you so much for giving your valuable suggestions to the students okay so please subscribe the channel and follow our channel for more updates thank you thank you bye bye bye